Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting Mo Chowdhury for the award of Doctor of the University. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and the young graduates, good morning. What a fine day it is for you today. I can't actually believe that uh, that oration was actually to do with me, but uh, people, people say it is. And this morning I thought I'd better make a few notes to uh, just to say a few quick words. I've been, I've been warned off to say, make it short and sharp. So uh, here, here it goes. First and foremost, uh, I would like to thank certain people that are very close to me because I think behind every successful person there's a whole successful team of people that usually perhaps do not get the credit that they actually deserve but who without, without, without whom the things will never actually happen. So first person is my wife, she's been with me through thick and thin for 25 years and I think she should be awarded just for that, by being married to me. Um, then I've got my four key directors who've been with me a long, long time, and I'm going to embarrass them now, and I'm going to name them, okay? Starting with Gary Ford and Tim Carley, who run my water wall operations, to Tony Castry and Gary Hammer, who run the financial services and property side of my business. Uh, I honor you guys, and I really thank you for all the effort and the hard work and the commitment, and most important of all, thank you for putting up with me, because not, not many people do that. But of course, today it isn't just about me and my family, my friends, although I am honored. It is very pertinent that after 25 years to this week that I was graduated from this, uni this university. And it's also fantastic to understand and see that how both the university and my careers have, got, have gone in a positive way. And I'm very, very proud to be able to say I am actually a Staffordshire University graduate. You know? Now, you're sitting there, and I was there with you 25 years ago, like it was yesterday. And you know what happens? I was at Kiel for the summer of 1983 waiting for my degree results, and it was horrible. And what tends to happen is that, unfortunately, the, the results were delayed. So, of course, you start, the panic sets in, doesn't anything, oh, all sorts of bad things. So I had to wait a week before I got my results. And in that week, all sorts of emotions come through creep through our minds, it certainly crept through my mind, and on the one hand I was thinking, if I fail, what would my life hold? If I pass, what would my life hold? Fortunately, I did pass, but what it did, it gave me the confidence, the platform, to do all the things I've done in my life since. So I say to you, a few basic things. What you have, that people like me now don't actually have. You've got the youth, you've got the vitality, You've got the energy and the drive to actually make anything possible. The fact that some of your international students, some of them come from deprived backgrounds, use that in a positive, generally in a positive. I'm one of those people, I've done, gone through the system where if you, it's an attitude of mind. Most people actually don't believe in themselves. So how about from this day onwards, you start to believe in yourselves. You as a person, you are unique in your own ways. You believe in yourselves and whatever setbacks you get. And don't forget, you must take your chances. And when you take those chances, you will get those setbacks. What you've got to do is learn from those setbacks, learn not to make the same mistake again. Education broadens your horizons. It certainly has broadened my horizons. It gives you a much better radar and expanse to in which to pursue and, and, and to fulfill your dreams and your ambitions. And it is such an exciting time in your lives. How I could go back. How I would love to go back and redo it. What a journey it is and what an adventure it is. Final tip. Many people will tell you what is not possible. Well, I'm going to tell you that it is all possible. And I am a living example of that uh, adage. Follow your instincts. Always follow your instincts. The teachers are there for, to guide you, the lecturers are there to guide you, but follow your instincts. It's here. If you follow it, you will deliver it. That is the most important thing I can tell you. And there's a, there's a famous saying to finish off. I had to write this down because I keep forgetting it. 
That's how famous it is. The young do not know enough to be prudent, and therefore they attempt the impossible and achieve it generation after generation. One more. I'll say it again. If you remember nothing else, but if you remember this, in moments of low periods in your life, pick yourself up. And once you start picking yourselves up, it is very contagious. The young do not know enough to be prudent. Therefore, they attempt the impossible and achieve it generation after generation. You have had a great start to your lives. Now make it go. Make it work and go for the top. Thank you for your time.